Welcome back, everybody, to the Sarcast. This is episode 7. Uh, we have here, as per usual, Broads, Magodes, and Wheezy Jacket. But today, we also have here uh, Poke the Lily, known for they them having a win percentage in squads of 48.11, being 25th for BCG kills, and being 200 and second for campfires used. As a little funny side note, they have also only ever hit one gallery target with a bow. Uh, today we're going to be talking about ranked. I think... It's finally the ranked conversation. This could be a... This, this is the one that a, we all get cancelled for. Yeah, this could be a long one. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this is a very Why touchy subject. Why would you get cancelled for talking about the ranked mode? Uh, <laughs> because it's very Logan's not controversial about that at all. What are you talking about? Logan's gonna it's a tricky swoop subject. in, take us all out, and just... <laughs> Yeah, you know, it, it's gonna really, what, what the, um, the, uh, what's it called, the, the merch was about was getting Ruby's home address so that if they ever say something <laughs> bad about, true. about Slur. How did yeah. I didn't even think about that. Alright, um, yes, welcome to a new episode. I figured that we would, we're gonna have a nice little flow of this conversation. I actually somehow dropped my own chat. Oh, there we go. Uh, we're gonna just start by talking about why this should maybe happen in the future, probably should happen in the future. Uh, we'll move on to what ways it would look different than the normal Battle Royale experience, a casual experience. We'll talk about just the shell of Ranked, what would need to be added or changed or deleted or reworked, and then as well as our thoughts on how a point system would work or an ELO system or how MMR would work and um, some other things as well. And then we will end off kind of with talk about what we would want to see for rewards, what we would want to get out of... Um, the ranked something hopefully that would be really cool and unique and would make even more people or maybe even the casuals try just to get this cool little thing, you know? Yippee. Anything um, anything besides yep. the metal system. Let's just <laughs> So I did one little thing of research before this episode started just to kind of um get a good feeling, a good placement. I looked up the top um fifty current games by uh average players in the last nine months. And from those 50 games, the three or 35 of them were multiplayer online games, and 32 out of those 35 had a ranked mode in them. The only three that was missing from my top 50 list was Rust, Baldur's Gate, and DayZ are the three that are online multiplayer games but did not have a rank. I... So it seems like ranked is very, 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 in some capacity. Now, obviously, some of those were very, 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 very small ranked things, and either no one plays them. For example, TF2. No one, yeah. Uh, TF2 does have a ranked mode. Barely anyone plays it. Or as big okay. as things like uh, Apex Legends, Rainbow Six Siege, uh, Dota, Counter-Strike, uh, Call of Duty, all of these games um, have a ranked mode. And so um, it's very... Present, it's popular, and there's definitely a ton of games that are as popular, if not more, that are a complete casual experience. But what I was just looking at is multiplayer online games. How many? What's the distribution from ranked to no ranked? And it seems like it is swinging pretty hard in the ranked thing. So, uh, anyone have first thoughts on why it could be valuable to have a ranked in the future, a well made ranked system in the. I already said the future. GG's. <laughs> I, I, I can We're living in the that. moment uh, So with ranked mode right uh, You have some people in the community That are for it And some people in the community That are just against it The thing about it is though Is that I personally fully believe That it could be in SAR I just think that you do First need enough players To sort of populate something like that To even have it be effective In the first place uh, second of all, I, I feel like you'd probably have to put some kind of restriction on some things, because while I do think that SARS balance is quite nice, there's some obvious issues. One of them I think that Lily feels very strong about. Uh, it's a big chicken nugget, and it's too fast, and it does damage, and as hell. I don't like it, man. I don't like it. It looks like I'm going to be the one that doesn't yap the most <laughs> in this episode. Yippee! <laughs> Don't let Lily theorycraft. We could be here for multiple hours. We'll have to see. <laughs> no, um, my theory yeah. crafting is removed from the game. Don't worry about it, man. Yeah. So, Papa, can you uh, continue on, on that thought? 
Uh, I mean, I things like I emus. Okay, I didn't know if there was any other blaring issues. Yeah, no, it was mainly just I want to give a generalist statement on it. I can say more later though, but I feel like yeah, I, I feel like everyone me. just yeah start with like a just a clear, basic thought about how you feel about ranked potentially maybe being a thing in the future and what would need I mean, to happen from your perspective to make it acceptable. It could happen, and it could work depending on how they do it and it's really about like how they'd implement it so for for the uh ranked mode that uh me and other people came up with uh, like ricky sar galabred mkl suhei evie all of those people um what we did was we ran a few games every week for like three hours and we basically had like the ranked mode only going on during those times which were like preset for four weeks and then we had a tournament at the end of it where the uh, highest ranked players were given more priority you know like you you'd want to have uh you want to you want to have the hang on give me a second <laughs> you'd want to have it so that it is only on at times when people can play because obviously with sar if you're playing at 3 a.m then you're gonna have 10 people in the lobby you know and you'd only want to have it at certain times that people know about because there's just not enough people to support it like a 24 7 like different game mode type thing you know well actually i one thing i want to latch on to what you say there which is usually one of the big conversation points when talking about ranked uh let's i want to hear where you guys are on the spectrum usually there's two sides in your head is it we need more players and then we can do ranked or we need to do ranked because then we will bring in more players which is more of your opinion do you think ranked is something that will finally give the players that are just kind of tired of mindlessly running over casuals a space to actually do something that they're interested in, like all these other games are providing? Or do you think that it, something like this could only be possible when the average normal player base grows? I think that with how SAR works and the type of people it brings in, it would be something that you'd need to have like already establishment for it. be like oh yeah rank and people who want to actually strut their stuff i guess if you were to put it like that would be willing to uh actually go further think about it and you know genuinely give it a try but rank to bring people in doesn't really sit right for me in a game like this like i feel like you have to you have to establish yourself before you actually provide the uh the secondaries. Kind of the same. I think it's a bit of both, to be honest. I think most people will only play it if they're already playing the game at the same time, but there will be like some people who are like, oh, this game has a ranked mode, you should play with me, you know? Like, some, some people will be brought in with a ranked mode, you know? I think for me, it's, it all just depends on the marketing that uh, Pixel brings, because... I, if this game had so much marketing, um, it, it would bring a ton more players. It could also rely on um, reaching out to bigger content creators as well. Marketing is definitely one of the biggest issues that Sar and I guess by extension Pixel just faces in general. Yeah, it's honestly yeah. really tough. Like the fact that I have sent in emails to alternative like websites because. SAR is the first game I've ever seen that is not in any of their game lists on alternate sites. That's how small and how little it's been marketed and put out there. Um, for example, both on Kick and TikTok, it does not exist as a real game on their website. Even Skibbity Toilet Simulator, I'm not even joking, Skibbity <laughs> Toilet Simulator is on the game list for TikTok, but SAR is not. And oh, so, yeah, I know that one. And so I, yeah, it's a little weird. I sent an email to both TikTok and Kick. It actually got added to Kick as a real um, category that you can now stream under. But for TikTok, it's way harder to get in there. And I feel like the company would have to do it themselves. But that is how like niche the game really is. Like it is not even recognized on these other content posting platforms, you know. I saw the Yeah, I we've had like when... big we've had big content creators play throughout the years. And uh, some of their marketing has worked, but most don't live long enough to tell the story. Yeah, they kind of just showcase off the game for like an hour, two hours. Especially if they have items involved. 
Oh yeah, I, I could think of a few names, but I feel like that's a... You, you want to call some people out? <laughs> no. no need. <laughs> yeah, some, you know, some of the videos got a, got a little... Yeah, so honestly, we could honestly stay away from marketing as well and get back to that subject. So it seems like I'm probably the only person on the opposite side. I feel like adding... I've heard so many, even some of those larger content creators that I've had conversations with on and off stream, people like The Hood Spot and his community of 500 that said, man, I just really wish that this game had a ranked because then it would be worth playing like literally word for word bar oh, for yeah, bar um, there are so many cool. people that uh, are both just on the outside of or just on the inside barely on the inside of the community and a lot of people outside of the community that genuinely feel this way like people are sometimes only playing a game for a ranked experience especially if it's one of those multiplayer online games i was talking about so um but I yeah i to it actually quickly because back when uh, the hood spot was like playing the game and he was like playing it with his community for like three months straight before he got access to private lobbies. Basically, whenever I went to his stream, it was just always me being the one that just hosts the lobbies for his community. And I think it was just like he consistently got like a good 23 or so people in each game genuinely trying their heart out. So there definitely is a market for people that want to play like rank that were just like coming to the game for the first time however you could also say the opposite as in like sar is a inherently casual while there is competitive value it's just by nature casual due to the devs design yeah for sure and who the uh, we talk about the structure of what would go into it right yeah, so we heard a little bit about uh, why it probably should or should not happen. Um, some of the benefits, probably. Let's yeah get to that sort of shell. So first things first, is there anything um, that we would want to see either added to this mode or completely deleted to create a more fair and balanced um, competitive experience? Is there something yes. so blatant and or so <laughs> yes, there small? Is. Really think outside the box here, like <laughs> yes, there is. Um, you know, is, yes, there, there is. That, I'm that one right I know now, feels actually. obvious to you, but I guarantee you that there's actually very small things that we're not thinking about. That would be like, ooh, actually, like any other competitive experience like this wouldn't use that, so it should probably not be present in this game either. I'm. I feel like there's more more things like that we really have to think on it but go ahead lily you want to explain your, your bit go ahead. <laughs> so about the vehicles the hamster ball and the emu um they shouldn't in any form in any type even duos or squads be in a competitive experience because they're like they're designed just to be casual fun little things to, to run around with like the uh, the hamster ball is just a one shot with extra hp it's Difficult to avoid on high ping. It's doable on lower ping, but like on high ping, it's just impossible to deal with. And the emu is yeah, effectively sure. just an extra teammate for you, which is it's it's big in the team modes and it's game changing in solo, where you can just run around and win the game for free essentially, and you're 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 not putting yourself in any danger, and it's not fun for either the person on the emu running around or the people fighting the emu who have to deal with the extra HP bar. <laughs> for the yeah, entire just game thing as well yeah. you know it'd be a fun thought experiment real quick let's think about some of the other biggest and most popular uh ranked game modes and maybe let's just stick to battle royales because there's enough good experiences or good uh games right now for that so if you think about a game like fortnite they do have vehicles literal cars now in other seasons you could just drive a car around you can hit someone with a car make them fly up into the air and make them like splat on the floor but because of all of the different movement options and obviously building to get away from a car, uh, the hundreds of things that can make you slow down in the air or jump away, it finds itself pretty balanced because rarely you're going to get a kill with a vehicle, right? In a game like uh, Apex Legends, they do have a sort of vehicle, except it doesn't do damage, right? And in fact, you actually take more damage spread out among you and your teammates that are riding it um, when you use that vehicle. And both of those are in ranked, but... Both of those also have more options to get away from it, if that makes sense. Real quick, on it Fortnite, tool. Uh, years ago, like a like chapter one Fortnite in the, in the like competitive mode, like in the early days, 
there was the hamster bowl type thing with like the suction cup on it. Do you remember yeah. that? Yes, I do. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, there was there was this whole thing where people were just grabbing only, one of those only and thing. only like running around hiding on cliffs and stuff in these like hamster bowls and just winning games like that to the point where they had to like massively nerf it and i think they banned it temporarily i'm not 100 sure on that which kind of mirrors the same thing what i'm talking about with sar where you'd have the vehicles that just let you survive the entire time without fighting you know now the only yeah. oh, okay okay that's what you're saying i was about to say i was about to say for me the main difference is people were using that just to kind of hide and not have to use their resources I'm yeah, honestly okay yeah, if like someone is using an emu like problem. that. Like you can hide yeah. or you can fight people and have an unfair advantage, That's which what, is why it would be yeah, a problem. Yeah, if that if that ball in Fortnite could, for example, grab someone and suck them off a cliff, like <laughs> then I feel like that would have been really dangerous. Or for maybe a like experience, so. one tap people you run into with zero yeah, yeah, counter. Yeah. So I see, on I see what you're saying. You know? I see what you're saying. Um, yeah. Um, what was I going to follow up with that? I feel yeah, like yeah. just any form of play style is fine in our ranked. Uh, in a ranked game mode in general, because it's a battle royale, you're just playing to survive. That's true. Every, anything truly goes in battle royales. That's why you literally see people in games like Apex. They literally find some people's full goals are to just find the raddiest little spots on the map where you can hang out until an end game, and then you can take a fight that is better for you and your team. So. Always a plethora yeah. of different strategies, and I feel like we'd find that in SAR. Uh, another one of the things that we were talking about, this isn't exactly a balance, an addition, or deletion, but how gas would work, because there are some kind of Ooh. diabolical moments right now for gas in a normal game of uh, Super Animal Royale. So does anyone have any proposed changes uh, to gas that feel like it would make it more in line with the competitive experience? So I, I think, honestly, with the gas... In a competitive environment, especially as a low rank, if it were to be like added into the game, I'd want it to be that it would be like slightly more punishing. So that way, if a newer player were to just jump right into it, they'd learn real fast. Oh, I shouldn't be in gas, and it would make something like snorkel more appealing. And they would also just learn to be out of gas in general. But I feel like just maybe a slight damage increase to gas would probably be like fine because early gas basically doesn't do anything to you um and later gas with a damage increase would sort of just um it would basically stop people from doing pacifist in a competitive setting because i feel like that's a bit stupid that if you were to win a competitive game just by doing absolutely nothing and then i know in fortnite they had a thing with campfires that you could just sit there and survive in the storm but I think they like in Fortnite. That? Didn't they also add like temporary. a damage over time effect whenever you don't damage people enough? Or am I was that a my, Yes, they added sure that they, and storm yeah. sickness, which says if you've been in the storm for a certain amount of time, you start healing for about half of the um, normal heal that you would heal with a med kit or yeah. with a bandage as well. So they. So like I, I like the idea of pushing people to fight. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Popcorn, you actually just put me on a whole new brainwave, though, because do we feel like that rank should stay around the same time per game? Should we increase the time per match by maybe slowing things down a little bit more? Or do you think that, honestly, you should ramp it up? 1.2% gas speed, extra gas damage, get people into a fight. Or So, like, what sort of experience would you want to see? We'll, we'll get back to the gas in a second. I just feel like this is a good follow-up. Do we want to have gas changes that speed up the gameplay, slow it down, or somewhere in the middle? I think speeding up the gameplay would do better for SAR than slowing it down, because a lot of what I see that people appreciate about the game is that it's fast. You can bang yeah. out like a good 9 to 10 uh, matches an hour, and in, like, in that rank setting, if you were to speed up the gas by, let's say, 20%, that would mean like competitive would be the fastest and most skill intensive version of the game because you would have more variables to think about it would be going by faster you might start favoring something like the snorkel more even though it's like you know you're still gonna want to use your uh more so i guess general use powerful abilities but it, it would definitely be a nice little thing so yeah i think like a 1.2 uh, X multiplier on gas damage and speed would be a nice thing to just sort of hey you gotta move forward you gotta go 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 you know I don't think a sickness would yeah. be good because I feel like that's an extra variable that like I feel like the sort of 
gap between a casual setting and a competitive setting should be as small as possible, but should be something. Like, you should have to take that step, but it shouldn't be the too wide of a step. I'd also like to point out that the TTK and SAR time to kill is, it is very fast. So Yeah. The game does probably yeah. comparing, or, Wait, compared to what game? Like, what, what game we're talking about? Like, I'd say, like, Fortnite. Like, yeah. I think Fortnite's time to kill is very slow. Yeah. Compared to SARS. Well, was that one... Know. Hold on, what was it? Uh... Even well, Apex. No, it was one of the like first battle royales. It came a bit before Fortnite, and it was just uh, PUBG. Yeah, PUBG. Okay, Games say, in there H1Z1. took so long. Yeah, H one Z one PUBG. It took so long, and I remember watching. Um, because in those like types of games, it was just so long that people were like, "All right, let's meme around and role play to that degree." They didn't care. It was just like, like obviously you have a very skill intensive, like competitive areas, but in just regular lobbies, you'd see people. Um, could you ride around on a couch? Or which game was that? What are you like, talking uh, about, buddy? <laughs> yeah, like, wait, no, okay, no, 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 I, hold on, let me explain <laughs> myself. I remember watching <laughs> Vanoss back in the day, and he souped up this couch with a motor, and he just rode around it on the battlefield and just drive by shot a bunch of people. I have no and so idea. you're concerned about this game being was. implemented in the SAR? Is that <laughs> no, no, going? I'm no, just no, saying no. that there's a big stem kind of funny, from like, a casual and a competitive setting. <laughs> yeah, But yeah, I'm making like a comparison between how long the matches in a game like that would be. Because it could go upward of an hour and you'd just be doing a bunch of dumb things to like pass the time. Whereas in SAR, it's like you have six minutes... To do as much as possible and you have to think really fast yeah, you also, I mean, also have to mention that uh i think PUBG's movement it was just so incredibly slow <laughs> and the map oh, yeah. was incredibly big so that's why the matches took longer all right go some ahead, people buddy. like that but i feel like speed is uh <laughs> yeah so is there anyone that we missed gas opinions here what, yeah in what way is that okay go ahead Larry. um so first of all, you'd have to make it so the gas can't end in like uh, end in like the ocean or whatever. They they should just fix that yeah. in a normal game because it's just not fun to deal with in any situation. But um, like yeah, I like the idea of faster gas and higher damage because you know I I've participated in hosted scrims for like a year and a half now I think, and it's just way more fun to watch people fight with faster speed gas because you have like 10 people in the final circle all just like battling for their own locations or whatever compared to like you know casual games in the final circle we have one person running around for like half the map and then two people carrying in the corner you know it's like i i remember i hosted a um a hide and seek once and they just wanted me to be like oh yeah don't turn on the gas and see what happens and i'm like that's not a good idea <laughs> Yeah, because it it's took just thirty-eight minutes to find one person, and oh, uh... it's it's it boring. Basically, so it, it would be just boring, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, whereas like fast gas, you'd have to be like, you would have to think about a lot more, and you just have to be like, oh yeah, no, I need to get out of here. I need to loot faster. I need to decide is taking that fight worth it. And also, you wouldn't have stuff like um, emus and handballs if that were to be removed. Yeah. So you wouldn't have a secondary option of being able to speed yourself out of it. So yeah. you need to really like lock in to get your movement. Yeah, the map isn't it, the map isn't too big anyway. So I'm sure you can traverse even without it. Like oh, just yeah, speeding up the gameplay just puts it to the point where it's like the most fun. I think that's about it. Because you have right, the most so, page, you have the most condensement. And it's, yeah, it seems like universally you guys are up for speeding it up, which feels crazy to say, though, because we're already at, what, seven minutes flat average game time? I know the maximum is 7.30, but how often does it truly go off to a heel off, you know? So I feel like the pace yeah, of the game is already really fast. Yeah, but like, think about um, it in actual games. How often are you just, like, standing still and waiting for people? Compared to in like uh, an event where you see people running around hunting for kills or getting to a better position as fast as they can, you know. Um, wh one thing I want to say though, because with a rank system, there usually is ways to promote or demote 
Do you think any of our conversation shifts a little bit when you think about the how everyone will probably be taking a different, more slow um, play style? Because, like, you know, right now, there's it, nothing happens if you die. No one cares. So people like me, I just run it down no matter what. I purposefully don't heal. I do completely stupid things. But obviously, everyone is going to actually care about their life with something like a rank system, rank points, ELO, upgrades, downgrades, everything. So is there anything, like, do you think anything becomes instantly stronger with that sort of care about my life um, mentality? Or does anything get a lot weaker if people are going to be playing less aggressive because they care about their, quote, ELO, MMR, whatever? Yes. <laughs> High There's, tactical weapons yeah. are very strong, and snipers are strong because they can tread armor from far away. Okay. Pretty much. So, for example, do yep. you think like ninja boots get a little bit worse because you probably won't be going that hog no. wild? Do you wouldn't want to no, run no, into no, the middle no, of three no. people? Ninja boots become the best in the game by far. Okay, so not something yeah, that, like that, that mobile increase is really good. Uh, what about weird. something like does something like the bandolier get better because you're probably not taking as consistent as fights and getting all of that extra loot naturally so it would be nice to be able to store more from looting on your own if you're taking less fights because everyone is playing less aggressive caring about their I life i don't think so i think the utility items that get better are the cup grade, the snorkel the banana forker the tape and the boots and the ones that get worse are already the three worst ones in the game which is the boots uh, the spike boots <laughs> the vandalier and the uh the juicer you know all boots like, are it just very it situational, increases the gap say. between those, essentially. Oddly enough, if I can say something, I feel that um, Juicer might become a very, very, very discounted version of the Claw Boots, as to where you use it for, like, two and a half seconds if you're near the factory to get some juice. So yeah, it, would go for, it would go from, like, F tier to D minus, and that's the equivalent of what would happen. Yeah, but then, like, the B tier items would move up to A anyway, so it wouldn't matter. Yeah. It, it it really wouldn't matter, and I, I feel like that's a bit of an issue that within I mean, a rank setting... I mean, that's just setting, an issue with the game balance in general, right? Within a rank yeah. setting, you're gonna have a bunch of, like, meta nerds that are gonna be like, I need to min-max, I need to use the best three equipment, I need to use the best <laughs> guns. Yeah, yeah. Where's my silence pistol? <laughs> um, so just mentioning, we already talked a little bit about, uh, the power-ups, obviously we talked about movement in the emus and the handballs. Is there anything else blaring that should probably be turned off or turned to toned down for a competitive experience? Now I'm thinking gun wise or, I mean, that's pretty much it, everything, right? No gun wise or, um, throwable wise. Anything that, if you're thinking about a premier competitive experience, you would probably say, eh, that's probably just not the best for this competitive experience. Let's remove that or downgrade that. What do you think? You'd probably have to buff cat mines. Buff oh, yeah. cat mines? <laughs> yeah. I don't so know. Not the cat mines are already pretty good, buff? to be honest with you. Because, like, in, in a... Maybe not, actually, because in an well, environment cat mines like are fine. This, I, I could see it both ways. I could see it being like, oh, yeah, no, it's perfectly fine where it is. Or it would just be like, yeah, no, I think you need to increase it. Because in that sort of setting, the type of people that are going to be playing it, especially at a more higher position, if there are any, is that they're going to be very attentive to what's around. And if they see a glow, they're just going to trip it and get out. Like, it doesn't matter to them. Okay, but what makes but, the cat mines good isn't that, like, you're, yeah, you know, it's, uh, not that, it's not that you can avoid it, it's that you have to avoid it, you know? Like, the skunk, guy, the skunk gas, you can walk straight through, and the grenade, you can just wait for it to blow up, but the cat mine, you have to wait a second, wait, wait for it to blow up, and then go through, you know? Yeah, that's what I was going to be like. There's the other side of the coin. It does prevent you from doing things. And also in the sense of, with all the stuff going on, when you're thinking about so many things, sometimes you just don't pay attention to the little glow in the loot pile, and then kaboom. Uh, if I were to actually do like a quick addition, I'd say maybe some kind of opacity changes to items or gravestones... To make you it know so that, that um, stuff like that wouldn't happen. The cat mine spot in Bamboo Forest, in like a center of the building, where there's like the red lamps. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you mean like that, where you like you'd make the glow a bit more obvious, is that, or like less yeah. obvious? Like, what what would you do there? You know, if anything. 
I feel like something like that would be funny, and it would give LA more content for clickbait thumbnails <laughs> with a little shush face, and be like doing the best cat mind trolling. And in ranked. Explain. Yeah, like it, it, like think of the possibility. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. No, jokes aside, I it, like you'd have to really test something like that because words can only go so far. In reality, you would have to basically put it in a setting where you get like you'd simulate like forty to fifty people all know what they're doing, play a ton of matches, but you basically just up the cat mine spawn rates and then see what they do. Yeah. So you'd probably have to like really pressure it just to be able to find something out like that. Because with cat mines, they're volatile. They can be both amazing and terrible at the exact same time. It's it's kind of hard to find like a. Eh, it depends how you them. use them. Yeah, uh, it's easy. Any notes on throwables here? Throwables or guns um, that you'd want to see removed or added? I think with cat mines, like maybe make it so like uh, if you throw one. And you walk over like it it you shouldn't be able to detonate it yourself if it's your own that's pretty much what i would say for that why that's probably a good change i mean what, it's like, quality what does that do what's, what's the so if what? you throw a cat mine and it hits the ground it'll just no, 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 i mean like what does that what would that make different from the normal game that would like improve the ranked mode i'd say it, like would... in a duos and squad settings, that way your teammates can't activate it. Yeah. But if you're playing in rank, surely that's part of the skill, right? Like knowing how to space yourself with your own the cat mines. Sometimes people are stupid, and I don't want to mm. lie on stupidity. Okay, but like you can be stupid in a ranked mode and still like get punished for it. Like it's not you. You shouldn't like not get punished for your mistakes. You know. Eh, fair enough. Yeah. No, I just think it. I just don't, I feel like of all the throwables, it's almost tied for like the least valuable. So that would just give it some more inherent value, ranked or not, honestly. Yeah, it might just be like. No, I think, it, honestly, I, I just think you're underrating cat mines. I'm not going to lie to you. Maybe I oh, am I because I've died to, oh, I've died to like eight total in the over a year of playing and seven of them were on purpose for content. So you yeah. see, I, I continue to underrate it. But there's that one clip out there of me dying really stupidly, and I I can't like. But keep in mind that the what you're comparing to is like children who picked up the game and saw the cat mine and thought it was funny and put it on the ground somewhere randomly, you know. And then they just blow off. <laughs> like the like they have no idea how to hide it. They don't know what they're doing with it, and like it's just you'd have to see it used by people who know how to play the game to decide, and that would be something yeah. you have to watch in the well, What about game. this? What about information-wise? Do you guys believe that if it does damage someone, you should be able to hear that and gain that information from anywhere on the map? Or do you feel like it should be a little bit more limited? You, you guys can. know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It, it could yeah, be I'm like saying, should, the... that be, should that be available? Oh, in yeah, for sure. Experience? For sure. 100%. Absolutely, yes. yeah. It could okay. be like the little sure. walking dead um, infection indicator where if like, a survivor gets found... And they do an action. It shows a little glow on your like mini map, and it shows a little hazard symbol. On your okay, screen. so you would like to see that even ramped up even more. Like I, I feel like it should basically just be the equivalent of it should be like a visual indicator at that point. point. Yeah, okay, I okay. actually like that. That, way, that would be nice. Yeah. You know, someone's there. Someone moved through that corridor. Yeah, so you I guys, are, you guys are trying to make it more valuable. I was just trying to figure yeah. out if we were heading in the direction of because a lot of games. They just remove anything close that could be called RNG, and I did air quotes while I said that, or anything like that, like random explosive damage, how in this pixel you take 78 damage, and this pixel <laughs> I mean, you, take you get hit by random damage all the time, RNG. right? So. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, all right. It seems like everyone, there's not really anything that is being proposed to be just completely I mean, deleted. one like, thing this is not that fun. I would say... I would say for like the entire game, they should just have like a visual indicator for nades, you know, where they're gonna land, because it just feels unfair to bite sometimes. But that's just yeah. like a general change that they should be making. Yeah. So I like, you're not have, like an outline uh, for grenades. So you're not so. proposing that grenades be removed completely, but instead, oh no, oh. no they're, they're they're fine. It's just they just need to like, just more information. It's fine. Yeah. All quality right. life change for throwables should be enough. I feel so. like deleting it's, something ruins the experience. Like, except for except for vehicles, that's fine. You can delete those. Um, yeah, that's yeah, it's just tough because a lot of games, even with traps, even with 
different throwables, those things get uh, vaulted or put away or completely deleted or temporarily removed in a bunch of different uh, other battle royales. So you just, I was just kind of, kind of trying to relate and see what exactly would be at all, or if any at all, what those things would be. But it seems like everything is vehicles. kind of fair and playable, it sounds like. So there wouldn't need yeah. to be that much um, deletion or any cha big changes like that. Yeah, other than Basically, uh, vehicles. Yeah. Like all um, of the guns are fine and all of the throwables are pretty much okay, you know? Yeah, uh, next, unless anyone has a point on additions or deletions. Everyone good? Yep, we're good. All right. Yeah, uh, good. Next, I want to figure out what exactly you would want the the ranked system to look like. Um, are we talking um, having a sort of bronze, silver, gold, platinum type deal? Or are we talking um, there's just a number and you gain this many points because you got this many kills and you place this and it's only you can just see a leaderboard full of numbers and watch as those numbers move up and down. Would you like to be placed in divisions with other people? And you can see where you're in the divisions with just other groups of uh, players around maybe your level, um, something like that. Just general thoughts on kind of the very basic shell that we feel like it should take. Yeah, for how we did it in our ranked mode, we had basically your uh, super points, which is your ELO system, essentially. Uh, there, there's like different bands of like what elo you have, and each of those bands represents like the rank you have. So it would be like, I don't know, 1,850 to 2,000 is bronze, and then 2,000 uh, to 2,200 is silver. You know, those aren't the numbers, but it would be like that, and it, it would just sort you basically on a leaderboard by that number, and the the ranked would just be like a little visual thing, you know, that you have to represent where you are. Okay, so you like the a uh, mixture of both. You have your yeah colored Essential. rank with your little MMR and points up. Popcorn Weezy, let's hear from you before we move on to the natural progression of what's next. In a world where it's like you have a lot of players, I feel like categorization would work. But I feel like it should be limited to um, bronze, silver, and gold. Because at that point you have bronze, which is like the entry level. It's pretty much just like the casual lobbies. Silver is where like the mid-range tryhards are. Like It's at the point where you're better than a good chunk of the casuals, but you're still in the area of you have a lot to learn. Um, and then gold is where it's like you get over the slump and now you're in the area of, oh, yeah, now I'm with sort of my people at that point where it's like, yeah, I am good at the game. I can safely say I'm good at the game. And I am with other people who can also say pretty much the same thing because they've gotten to this point. Like, it's just clear cut and simple and it's only split into three because i don't be think that, that would work to be honest if you had a lot of people that that would not uh, why work. is it too narrow in your because, eyes because <laughs> because you'd have people who are relatively really bad at the game like in the center rank you'd have people who just got out of like the the casuals and then you'd have people who are like almost really good at the game <laughs> who are about to go into like the top rank you just you just need more divisions to split people up if there's a lot of people you know well hold on if Lily, there is a lot of people then yeah Lily, i have inside knowledge of this uh you guys mm -hmm. ran that rank system and every single player seemed to be between those like 90 Five percent of your players were between three ranks, anyways, right? You had about one percent of your players that were the diamond. I think it was there was no platinum, right? Diamond, and uh, then every was... other player there was like five diamond players, and then the, every other player was gold, silver, or bronze. So you were very close to that sort of like tight and narrow system that uh, Popcorn was talking about, right? You had your like one percent, but ninety nine percent of your players were in a three rank system just like popcorn was mentioning am i missing something that's right i'd have to check the leaderboard that's correct be but fair, we, I only played, we only played like... four weeks of <laughs> four weeks of ranked mode with a system that we're not fully happy with gotcha so just and there's, there's not yeah, a lot and of again, again, in the hypothetical it's like there's not there's not enough people to uh, yeah, there's yeah. enough people to yeah okay just so like, I, I do agree really with because yeah because again like you know the, the the last place player and then the person who's like at the top of bronze are there's just a massive difference in skill then and if you scale it up to like 100 times the amount of people i think it would be worthy of more divisions than three okay. which is why we had more divisions for that few people you know yep 
and it would be further spread out if it was longer lasting and under a better system. Pop, what you were saying? Speaking of hypotheticals, on the, I was just going to say, like, to give, like, Lily some credit, there's, like, the difference between their system doesn't have as many players as a sort of theoretical SAR that's giga-pumping player numbers and has a ton of people in the lobby. So there's a bit of a dissociation, and I think it's a bit unfair to compare that structure to the one I put. But at the same time, it still is a fair point that when you have people at the top, it's usually like the separation can sometimes be a bit too much and the lobbies are just like bare bones. There's no one there. It's like the same seven people going at each other. So there's the good and bad of it. I mean, what I've seen from like other competitive games, like the finals, they added like another rank above their previous highest rank in the most recent season, I think, or maybe the previous one. And then for Valorant, they added in like Ascendant, which is between like Diamond and Immortal, which is like a higher up rank to further separate out, separate out like the top players, because like the the skill difference is just so big at like a, a higher level that people need to be separated out even further, you know. Maybe it'd be like bronze, silver, and gold would be a good start, and then as it progresses, you sort of make changes on the fly. Generally, the aim is to have most people in like the lower midsection of ranks because the distribution of ranks in like Riot games is generally you have a few people in iron, you have a uh, quite a lot in bronze, yeah, many just in your silver, bell many curve. in gold. And yeah. I wouldn't say that's just Riot games. That should that's honestly most ranked games. That yeah, are out in there a right well-designed now. system, that's how it looks like, which is what we tried to design ours around, and that's what we actually managed to get. You know. Yeah, it's pretty simple, I say. Yeah, but Weezy. it's just you, you can't have those three divisions by themselves because then you'd have bad players and good players playing together. You know? Weezy, I want to hear from you. What do you think? We've heard from Cop Popcorn. We've heard from Lily. Are you a straight up ranked or like a rank person, a an MMR number person, or kind of a mix like Lily? What what would you think would work best? Uh, honestly, like I do like the whole bronze to gold type of a, a system, but it needs to be so where uh, uh, you start unranked first and then you do all your placements. I think having a placement system is just way more efficient. Ooh, see, that's than... something we haven't even brought up yet. That's a good point. Because like, that is a good point. Because take a game like Siege, they used to have that, and then now they removed it. Now you start at the very bottom, which is unranked, and then copper. I'd, I'd rather have the old placement uh, mechanics over... Over starting at the bottom. <laughs> no, I actually kind of agree with you. A sort of placement system to find your natural home instead of having to do like a a grind that feels like it's only there just to keep you there longer and not actually because that is where you belong. You know. Yeah, um, it wouldn't yeah. be too hard to implement either. You you just like play games against lower ranks and higher ranks and lower ranks and higher ranks until you get in the middle. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. All right. Um, sounds like we got pretty good feeling about what sort of system you would want to work or if i can add something really quickly yeah, go for it please god just don't make it on level it would be the stupidest outcome oh I yeah if <laughs> you know shepherd killer going against like actually good players <laughs> <laughs> okay that's a that's a little mean but <laughs> oh sorry my, 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 my. Oh. Yeah, it's fair enough it was funny i'll give you <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to hear it from you, LA Gamer, call out. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've made fun of LA in the past, and he's completely fine with it. Gotcha. All right. Um, real quick, I wrote this down because I didn't want to forget this. I know I've heard this from Wheezy many times before, that Wheezy would like to see this tested outside of the realm of the game to feel comfortable with it, and then it actually getting put into the game. So, Wheezy, if they bring... I was about to say bring as in first time, but bring back because they used to have some sort of PTB system, yes. right? Yes, there okay, used so to if, be a public test realm. So if they bring back a public test realm, um, how long would you like to see this tested or in what sort of time spurts, if that makes sense, for you to feel comfortable with it uh, getting put into the game eventually, if that makes sense? Um, I would honestly say like a week. I'd say a week or oh, two. Oh, wow. Okay, I thought you were going to say, like, 
test this for two months before it comes to live servers. I was way overthinking the amount of time that you would want here, I guess. I thought you would be thinking no. months or something. Okay, you just I don't want think it should be that long either. Okay, you just think a solid week of testing to make sure that this is doing like a week or two at most. I yeah. don't agree at all. <laughs> we did know. four weeks of testing and we're still figuring out the system. <laughs> so you know, if you can get yours working in a week, congratulations. But I don't know how you. Well, let's to do also that. propose the obvious here. You guys are a bunch of solo individuals doing this as a passion project. You guys can't get together. This would probably literally be the job of someone to make work. You know, they're nine to five. I get paid to do this job. You know. Yeah, so I but feel they like... can't balance the game right as it is. So I don't know how they do a rank mode. <laughs> Says on top you of that. though. Says you. Does everyone I mean, feel like? Hold fair, on. Pause. Devs... Does everyone feel like that's true? Yeah or nay? Is this I, I game mean, mostly fair. balanced well? I'd say a good 89%, so yeah. Yeah, like an like 80 or 90%. Okay, good, because that's how I feel too. You're in the you're in the minority here, and I want you to know that, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, I wouldn't say that. You're like, a minority, you... and I want you to know that. I would rather them take their time testing it and then release something actually good than release it we one week in, have people not like it, and then never interact with it again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Introducing laser to <laughs> yeah, exactly. The laser gun, the juicer, the zip lines, sea land, changes to the gas. Come on, vehicle, the those... unbalanced BCG. Mm. Okay, just I'm unannounced like... BCG. It's gone. Like um, name apart from the dark gun, name one re recent release that wasn't just annoying on release. No, uh, the cat mine. Oh, okay, cat mine's a good point. Actually, um, I like zip lines. It wasn't annoying. It was just underwhelming, which was the other side of it. <laughs> It's, it, it it's completely worthless. Use. That's what it is. I wouldn't call it worthless. I'd just say it took it's way too long to find use. It's, it's just almost worthless. You yeah. can write L's with it. That, that's oh, you're the right, only yeah. way it's been used against me. This sucks. You can write L's <laughs> with Why am I getting punished? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting punished? Yeah, but think about it. You write an L, and the next game you play, they're Angie, so their movements are more rapid. Yo, mental warfare true, and sorrow. True, true. Mental warfare. Okay, sorry. Let us... Um, come back to see you want to uh, want to have a I mean actually you guys did kind of mention Lily said the opposite very long please popcorn said about the same amount of time um, we can while we're talking about the timing of something obviously we're going to act like this is in the game now how long do we want each and you can call this a bunch of different things this split this season this act whatever you want to call your ranked your chapter Whatever you want to call your ranked section, how would you like to see it broken up? Does it last the same amount of time as a season does? Is it, this is exactly four weeks? Is it anything in between? What do you think? What would the timing so, of a season be? What I think it should be is that it should be like on the weekends, right? So that people have enough time to sort of like really uh, practice in the regular game, but if you were to put it on the weekends, that's sort of like the highest player density. And yeah, just like squad weekends. Like, yeah. And then you can make it be like maybe every couple of weeks, like maybe even just like a month after those sort of eight weekends. It just sort of compiles everything that happened in there and be like, this was the most effective person in this regard. And... Was yeah, that the like, question? Wasn't it like how long a season would last? Well, yeah, it, that's they said my they said last it, make it only on the weekends and for about a month after, kind of reevaluate oh, okay. how long. Or so, like what a happened. month, basically. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. They're saying a month and on the weekends, which is a great answer. That's what I was looking for. Should this be I a see, twenty-four see. hours a day, seven days a week thing, so that you're not oh, limiting yeah. players from other blah blah blahs or for example there are some people that like me work or have way more events and life things happening on a saturday and sunday during that weekend than during the normal week somehow i am i am the opposite of what a lot of people are so uh wheezy what do you think um yeah honestly having this on a weekend would really be nice too so and then release it like a month later <laughs> <laughs> just, it's, it's just like squad weekends yeah back, back in 2019 everybody wants already a system like that yep like they can just bring that back with, right. i don't know lily what do you think yeah uh, that's how we did it we we did ours for like three hours on saturday for uh, a few weeks over or for four weeks over spring and we had 
pretty much we we had more lobbies than the developer streams. <laughs> is what I'll say because the game was <laughs> the game was dying at that point as well, and we were struggling to get forty players by the end of it. But the, like the developers weren't getting forty players by the end of it, so I don't think that's our fault. I think the game's in in trouble. Is the problem? I feel like that's a different topic though. But yeah, you get a fair point. <laughs> yeah, uh, but like, yeah, like have uh, just have it on weekends. Have it on for like three hours a day, Saturday, Sunday, or whatever, and they just make the season last, I don't know, with the updates, and that's about it. <laughs> All right, I think I would like to see... Here's the, I actually have a really weird reason for this answer, too. I would like it to be as long as the... I don't care, actually, what timing during the week or every other day or whatever is ranked. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about the big picture. Um, big picture, I would like to see it last as long as the season does. And I would like from day one of the ranked being out, it to do like every other ranked where it says, hey, this season ends in 112 days, 111 days, 10, 9. Not only so that you can know exactly how much time you have to grind out whatever you want to do to get whatever rewards that we're going to talk about in a second, but to also keep the devs um, on top of when they know that the next season will be beginning. It will be just another um, thing to help the devs stay on top of this schedule because they're saying, okay, we said that this this season is going to end with the next season's uh, release. So if we put from the very beginning that there's 112 days, we have 112 days to work on the next season and to get that one released. So uh, that's actually a weird reason to um, want it to be a full season long, uh, but that is really my answer. I think it would have an extra cool effect of that if it was a season long. Yeah, so like, fair. yeah. So like how Supercell used to do it with Brawl Stars, where it's just like, oh yeah, this season's gonna last seventy days. Complete the pass in this time and do this and this. Exactly. Yeah, so like, on it Fortnite no right now on Valorant, right now on Rainbow Six Siege, right now, you can look at a rank to see how many days are left of that season, or look into their battle pass because it ends at the same time, to see yep. how long it ends with that season. And I just think. That would be extremely valuable, not just for the ranked itself, but obviously to keep everything yeah. tidy. And I mean, it's time. just a good system, you know. And the only it just problem... provides more transparency overall within the community. Yeah. The only problem Which there I isn't see... enough of, but you know. The only problem I see with what that. you guys are saying is that, for example, if a season is four months long and you guys pop out your weekends the first month into the season, what the hell am I going to do for the next three months? You know, my probably during that first month of playing on those weekends... I've probably gotten whatever reward I want from that, whatever battle pass is finished that I already was working on. And so what do I do for the next two and a half months, three months, as the ne waiting for the next season to come out in the next ranked section? That's I mean, I like, saying the, the thing to do... Monthly. Yeah, like, uh, the thing to do would just be, like, the... <laughs> would just be, like, the ranked mode, where you have, like, the reward for placing a certain rank at, like, the end, which, you know... Uh, 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 what an amazing segue. Way. Yeah, exactly. Wait, hold on, hold on. That, All that's right. not what I was saying. Hold on. I actually need to make sure that we're on the same page. I was talking about, you guys were talking about run it from one month. So I'm saying, when is that month then? Because the season no, is three I, months long. If you run it off the very beginning of a season, what do you do for those ending two months until the next month of rank starts? I, w I was just saying that I, I think it would be good to like go with the updates in the season. So I, I, I was agreeing with you. Okay. Anyone else propose a different or have an explanation to kind of what I'm saying that would help me or like change my mind or make me feel better about that? I'm looking at you, I, I monthers. Like the last of what you just said. Uh, no. I honestly, for me, it was just. I think it could just be bi-monthly, but it's like own monthly structure. I feel like it could just be um, at the end of some of them the standard sort of a uh, awareness patch of oh yeah, this is the rotation. This is how long we have planned till we do the next big thing. But as it stands, this is the change for the. Uh, ranked system. We're doing it this month, the next thing. Okay, but can you imagine grinding rank for two weeks and having an insta reset? Not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah fair enough. I guess I don't look too much into rank to have sort of a big opinion on feeling of seeing it end. The only sort of, um, I guess, vibe I got from that was when I used to play competitive clash rail and hearthstone but that was that that's a, i think a bit too different yeah so i just think timing is a big part of it and so i just wanted to know like the follow-up on your timing i said full season and so i feel like that makes sense 
Um, I guess season is typically like three months, so yeah. Okay. All right. Um, but yes, we will head back to that great transition by Lily. Lily, say the line again. <laughs> Uh, you know, I think that one of the, the things that people will be playing for is the rewards of the rank that you get at the end of the season. Wow, Lily. Wow, you know what? That's oh my perfect god. Because one wow, of the you're last amazing. things you wanted to speak about right? Crazy. was exactly <laughs> what we would want to see. Do we want these rewards to reflect whatever rank you're finishing? Do these just want to be a, if you're in this percentile, you're going to get this epic item one of one of 500 and then these next 1000 players will get this item instead or these next 5000 so that there's extra incentive what do, what do you think why not both why not have like the valorant system where when you place your rank you get like a little gun buddy but it could be like a death animation for your ranks that you placed in the season and also have like the top players get a like a special reward like the metal type system but a little bit different you know i so hold on, what was the system? Uh, okay, I, I remember it now. So what it would be like is that if you, the, first of all, if you get into the top percent, I feel like you should have like uh, a limited emote for the next season that just shows, yeah, no, I scored this at the last season. Ooh, and I, that's a great idea, it, popcorn. Yeah, honestly. Like if you don't continue to do it, then it just goes poof. But yeah you can like get it back now i feel like that should be for the top one but i feel like that should be the extent of what it is because if you are grinding to the point and if you get to that point you most likely got to that point for two reasons one you want that to flex and two you want to you know you want to be the best of the best and prove yourself you don't really care that much for cosmetics at that point because you're playing it to be the best but there are some people who want cosmetics, and I feel like something like that would be pretty safe. It wouldn't really piss anybody off who cares about, like, oh yeah, I'm not good enough to reach a top, but I want cosmetics. Because you, you'd only have it for that sort of season, I guess. It's just a matter of exclusivity, I would say. That's, yeah. that's what I would point out. Because a lot of people do have issues with stuff like Founders, Old Season DLCs. Uh, PC gaming a massive fiasco. What I'm hearing here is that you want a gem reveal that actually matters. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> like, yeah. A gem like reveal gem that reveal. isn't bad. It, you know, they could just do like the Fortnite. Uh, that one Fortnite emo where you, it just showcases like your wins or something. Oh, your crown wins. <laughs> yeah, crown your, wins. It would, instead of a crown, maybe you on a pillow, you're holding your gem from your last ranked season. See, those are yeah, really cool like ideas. I really like that. Um, As also... another quick thing, though, I do feel like for just participating each season, um, you should get a little trinket. So Maybe if you do like your placement people. games, you get that, right? Yeah, no, I really it, like that idea as well. Participation reward. Yeah, there's I think, it, I mean, I think the rewards are like the easiest part about it, to be fair. There's so many options for them. Yeah, like and there's so many things that it, it's not just there's so many options, there's so many cool options, there's so many good yeah, options. Yeah, like Sar is you know? just so customizable with its cosmetics, so you can just give them whatever you want, really. Pretty much. Like, they already give you rewards for art contests and getting in uh, Sarge Knight, which should hopefully return eventually, trust me. And how yeah, easy. And all of that stuff in metal, so like they, they know how to do it, they can do it. Yeah, no, I like that answer. I think, um, this is where I wrote in our notes dream here because this is where I'm going to start saying the stupid things that would never <laughs> happen. Um, and one of the stupid things is I would like them after maybe a blank amount of time, maybe multiple seasons, maybe an entire year, um, of running a ranked, grab some of the best over 18 <laughs> players from that Encrypt leaderboard. Is crying right now. And we're um, going to or MLG. have a parent permission and have a in real life event somewhere. It can be, a, yeah. I'll go to a freaking furry convention to see some other <laughs> SAR people in real life and to participate in something you like that. You do that regardless. Don't lie to Yeah, Kappa face, I mean, Kappa hey, face, Kappa face. Look, look, um, look. Uh, Sora the Sky got a SAR code to work at I think it was Anthrocon. So anything's possible. <laughs> yeah, so so TwitchCon, anything. Like PAX East. I'm just saying random things. Comic Con. I don't I don't dream care. Get phase on dream this. Hack. They recently disbanded in their back. Yeah, dream hack. Bring back dream hack umbrella. Imagine, <laughs> back the imagine dream hack umbrella. In real life SAR events getting to 
meet devs, moderators, other players of this ranked thing that like really value it and value the game enough to like come out. I think that would be the ultimate Watch experience. Watch Uncle Logan throw it back on stage. That's crazy. Um, but that is the <laughs> ultimate dream. Does anyone have something like a a huge dream sort of thing? Now, hold on. Pause real quick. I want to uh, say something that's from a different community. In the League of Legends community, for the top 200 players in each continent, they started sending them IRL gifts, like a $200 oh, really? backpack that has the uh, challenger rank insignia, their name, and their rank for that season on the bag. So don't even think about just in-game things. What would be cool as a competitive reward in real life or in-game? Uh, so, what do you think just outside of the easy things like an extra emote or a umbrella? This is a system that I actually had in thought for a long time that wouldn't even just be ranked, but it would be a good addition to something like ranked. And that's sort of like badges on your account in that regard that shows like you participated here, you scored a good position here, and it would just be like a little shelf that you could show off and they, it wouldn't even be a matter of emotes but you want to know something funny in a ranked mode on the website we have badges for different achievements you get in the ranked mode for like that exact reason yeah it's like it's a little like showcase off and that's not even just including stuff like ranked you can just be like oh yeah i did i uh got like a thousand kills with this gun and now i have this badge in my pro it's basically just better milestones at that point because yeah. Most of them suck, and I feel like some really good flex ones would be quite cool to show off, and you could even have stuff like um, Clash Royale. They, like, literally on profile badges, you have like uh, CR like 2023, where you got like the 20 win challenge, uh, and you were able to actually apply for competitive at that point, and it just shows in your profile permanently. So I feel like something like that would work very well for Sar. What I think would be nice is if they took the top performers from their ranked mode for the season and hosted an end of season event with a Pixel sponsored cash prize, you know, for it. Like just an official event based on the ranked mode with like the top, I don't know, however many people they can get. It. it would be like a retry of their old expedition, but in a case exactly, where it but like they'd actually sense. do it well and have a have a reward for it. And, and it they wouldn't would just it. be a bunch of content creators that were given priority for no reason. And even better, they don't even have to put any effort. They can just get someone who they know to host it for them, like Broads McGoads, the best event host, and just pay them to do it. It'd wow, be that's that crazy! Easy. <laughs> what was that plug? That wow. was a shameless plug, and I'm the person wow. that was plugged, and I think that was shameless. <laughs> yeah, but like just pixel sponsored events. Make it happen. Come on. Hey everybody, subscribe to <laughs> oh Love the dead silence after that, by the way. <laughs> Amazing. Alright. Uh anybody else have something to say on a uh, reward structure? Alright. I guess enough. there's. <laughs> yeah, you're to much be fair, we got what we wanted it. to say. I think. To be honest, yeah. Oh yeah, but uh, oh Lily, I gotta ask really quickly. Red or blue? Blue. <laughs> okay, thank you. No problem. All <laughs> right, sorry I got called by my niece. That that was weird. Um, That's why there was silence. Yeah, because I'm the leader oh. of this conversation. Woo! All right, no, uh, we were I feel talking. like we were talking. yeah, I feel like we've hit a lot of our big ideas for this topic. Um, just so, just if someone is going to listen to the end here and they just want a TLDR of everything we went over, um, what do you think are the biggest takeaways from all of the things that we just said? Would be our favorite things or our least favorite things that would work or not work here? Uh, I feel like it, FOMO is a yeah. really big factor. It could happen, but they'd have to do it right. And it That's could be have, good, but they yeah. have to. It would need like, to be tested on a not live server first. Yeah. Um, yep. It'd have to be in a PTR. Universally, it wouldn't be the same either. It'd be different. Universally, I don't think we can keep um, emus or, or handballs because with someone that is not on an even playing field with ping, it's just too unfun and unfair, right? Yeah. I feel that. Um, gas changes was a big one in this conversation. I think that we all agree ramp it up just a little bit to provide um, more aggressive fights. And it seems like a 20%. lot of, 
Yeah, a lot of the things that we feel like are already good would continue to uh, stay good, and a lot of the things that we think are bad will continue to be bad, but that's okay until they change them, right? Basically, the idea would be to make it more fun and more fast, <laughs> essentially. Just higher risk, higher reward, and faster gameplay. That's about it. All right, it, it would seems encourage like, people to get better. It seems like we It'd all like agree it. that it would be some sort of point slash um, actual rank system, like bronze, silver, gold, probably keep it relatively uh, small and uncomplicated, especially for a game of this size. And yep, um, like uh, any other big ones? I'm just trying to think of the big notes that we all really agreed on. Um, Let's just delete Juicer. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we will it. see you, hopefully. I mean, are we done? Kinda, Honestly, yeah. yeah. yeah uh, we wait, Lily. I feel like we Lily, could talk about a, a to say? ton of uh, different intricacies. Like, we could really dive deeper what do you into want me to say? single things. But I feel like, overall, we have a pretty good lead on, or at least feelings of what we feel like w would work and wouldn't work. I feel like it was, this is pretty solid. Um, oh, how would we deal with like regions? Like, do we want to have crossplay as it is in the normal game? You know what? That's or a do we, great do we think, thing. I think we actually we think, should take a moment to talk about that. Did we think yeah. NA players complaining about ping are just complaining a little bit too much? You know? Jeez. Um, what are the two most populated servers? <sighs> that feels so bad to say. Is it NA really? you? It's no, NA it's... and EU most of the time, and then sometimes Asia and like 8 p.m. I don't even know about that. Asia is usually populated. Is it? Like, because uh, whenever I don't usually go on, but whenever I go on, I usually see like 10 people in the lobby. You know, Asia's I don't know if it's like flip. a timing thing, but yeah, that's a coin flip. Gosh, you wait, never, that's actually so oh. difficult to talk about because even if we did have, say, a server in just NA and EU or a server in every server, what is going to stop people from still? going to other servers during different times, you know? So for example, could someone from NA say, all right, my NA lobbies, right now there's MKL in my lobby, uh, Lily, well, Popper, no, that, that would be fine. Like, it, Hell we no, still have, I'm going to Asia to face... Wouldn't we still have like the the same... We still have like them running at the same time? Could we not? Or like, like how would it be... Like you, you would, you would only have the the lobbies running at certain times anyway, so like they wouldn't be open twenty four seven. Yeah, but I'm know? saying, what is stopping a player that sees that a ton of good players are in your server, so they're going to a different server that isn't at their peak time to go get an easier experience? How do you stop oh, that? Just, just, just have the ranks associate with the servers. You know, have your E rank, have your NA rank. Like That's Power, crazy. That's rank. interesting. Oh wait, I'm gonna say this. I don't think we talk about this, but how would we, um, how would uh, how did uh, this work? But uh, what about abandons? <laughs> oh, that's like, true. what if you People abandon a match? Leaving the game early, honestly, because it's so fast paced and there are switch players that exist that crash all the time, anyways. Um, I would say that they just lose whatever points that we would deserve or like, yeah. uh, that would be lost normally, if that makes sense. Like whatever we decided would be, yeah. we didn't actually discuss that either. And that's good to talk about. Do we put more weight <laughs> on kills or sorry, let's not distract. Oh yeah, of course. Let's, let's not distract. That's like one of the main parts of any <laughs> of that's been the biggest conversation in apex legends, the biggest conversation in Fortnite. Yeah, um, personally, I, I think the abandoned. vibe crew method of yeah, tracking abandoned. was um, the vibe crew method for tracking points was always solid for me. But I feel like uh, like abandoning a match. Yeah, I guess it depends, right? Like if it's very early on, and if it's very obvious that it's just like a crash, it shouldn't really be that much of a penalty. But if it's just like rage, okay. But what if, what if you just like what if you just like insta leave because you see MK in your lobby? <laughs> Should you like? Here's oh, a question. Pre -game, you're talking pre-game lobby. Ooh, I was yeah. just thinking when we're actually flying in. I didn't think about that either. You see Rookie and MKL in your lobby, so you say, "Okay, better luck next I game." Mean, and you leave to you try to dodge do, that lobby. You could do a form of how like a uh, SVR yes. work with anonymity, where it's just like you don't yeah. know. Who's there. Ooh, actually, actually I think good. that needs to happen yeah. no matter what. I'm not even going to lie honest. to protect players that. Dude, I'm not going to be honest. We we could have talked about that as well. I think that when you go in, all names are scrambled as if you have slash hide names on and all outfits are scrambled as well. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah. I think to stop from certain people getting 
shave throned <laughs> Kappa. Um, that you would need to don't don't moan and groan. You got to have your LA moment. <laughs> Lily got to have their shepherd killer moment. I get to have my shave throne moment. Weezy, you're right, next. Weezy, let's know. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Weezy, yeah who, do, who do you hate the most? <laughs> you funny, hey, really. whoa, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. I don't say hate not. because I love Shave Throne. I love I Shave am, Throne. Genuinely, not mentioning anyone. Yeah, <laughs> right. this is where they yeah, usually bring up LA. someone calling I them bald. Um, jeez. Okay, does any? Oh, okay, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, hold on. Lock in. <laughs> Like it, no, no, because we just mentioned so many more good things that need to happen in a conversation if we're talking about it. Oh, okay. How Please hold you, on, how, hold on, hold on. Go, 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 go back go. to Weezy's thing because Weezy's was first. Let's settle that and then let's move to the next one. All right. Weezy well, said, just... "How does abandoning work, Weezy? Were you talking about yes. in game or were you talking about in lobby? Like, I about? would say both. Like, should you get penalized or penalized? I'd say for leaving in game, or would you get penalized for leaving?" in lobby i think yes for in game no for in lobby okay that's fair i think that if you have like the anonymity in the game it's completely fine in the lobby and if it's in the game you just punish them as they would if they placed last regardless exactly that's what i think yeah and if you're on switch it's reduced <laughs> and also would i you think we should ban console players also, from ranked oh, oh that's crazy should you also no, be I'm able right. to reconnect in ranked no, dude. I think you should be able to reconnect. Period. So I want to say yes, just because I to be honest, I'm opposed to reconnecting. That's crazy. Why? Matters, though, what do actually, you have like... against that? No, hold on. I need to know why. That's such so, a weird thing to have a hill that you would want. To... Never. When I disconnect, <laughs> when my power goes out for one second, kill me. I deserve to be out of the game. Why? If I'm kicked out, I'm kicked out. If I lag for a bit, then yeah, of course I want to stay in. But if I'm kicked out. The reason why I wouldn't want that to be a thing where I could just reconnect is it's so buggy. You could just edge into a wall, the game could put you in a completely different location, and imagine like a player model suddenly becoming sentient and just warping into a different location in front of someone else's <laughs> eyes. Yo, Loki, I, like I would like it if you disconnected, you just turn into a bot. I'm not even going to lie. Um... So that there's no... Actually, no, I don't care about that that much. I mean, if you care. leave the game, just insta-kill the person and give them their placement kills. Just placement leave the game. Yeah, that's get true. a magnum. True. And just get like, a magnum just like and a hunting rifle them. and leave the game. and just <laughs> Let the bot do all the work. Has a magnum that's and a hunting rifle. That's, that's one way to farm. <laughs> no, 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 no. You just, you, just, you just get them out of the game and give them their points. That's it. Yeah. Like a, like a skunk gas death kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Um, all right. What was the next one? We kind of talked about abandoning. I already forgot what the next one was, though. How would you balance points between kills and placement? Oh, yes. Kills and placement points. Which do you guys value more? So uh, someone as, that gets two someone kills who comes up and with gets many, first? Oh, God. Yeah, someone who comes up with many scoreboards and also helps other people with theirs. The rule I like to go with is a high kill game is worth a win. So you'd have, like, an 8-kill game is generally a high-kill game and, like, a, a good lobby. So you'd have a win being, like, 8 to 10 points and then kills being more than 1 point each. So you'd place, like, uh, 8 points with 8 kills or 8 points with 1 win, you know? Yeah. That's pretty solid. I'm trying to visualize that. I actually do not know. It, it's uh, it's just where you have, like, high kills is the same as uh, a win, because they take the kids okay, same so you're valuing skill. both equally, but if you do yeah. get a lot of kills, you have a pop-off game, you want it to be as valuable yeah. as a win. Exactly, because if you see okay. Eevee killing, like, 10 people with dual pistols, you're like, they should really be rewarded for that, you know? Okay, even if they dropped in 14th place, they got 10 yes. kills before they... Because if you there. kill 10 people before you get 14th place, you played well. Like, okay, let's okay. be real. Four. No, I actually, you know? I, actually, I actually like that. Yeah, that has been one of the people's biggest gripes about a game like Apex Legends, where you can hop drop, get seven kills die and be minus 15 points like uh kills aren't valued placement is so yeah. valuable in that game so that's why it's people also, are playing less aggressive yeah. in the beginning of the game exactly it's also important for like forcing people to fight each other because if you give them like infinite points for winning nobody's gonna fight because everyone wants to win and that's just boring <laughs> nobody wants that you just have a bunch of rat strats yeah uh, Weezy, what do you think about that? About what Lily like, said? Should a high kill game be rewarded even without good placement? Or are you a placement guy or what? I typically like to go for placements because, like, it's about a rail setting. Like, you're going to play to survive. Like, 
you j I just kill when necessary. But uh, I honestly do think if you do have a high kill game, you should get more elo for it, it especially if you win. That's usually so how it should be. All the way up where Lily's talking about where it should potentially be as rewarding yes. as a win for that many kills. Yes. Okay. But also, like, even if you don't got a lot of kills you s and you still win, it should, it should still be, like, a good amount anyways. Yeah, because, I mean, less. like, you, you could place, like, first with two kills and it would be worth about the yeah. same, maybe a little bit, eh, no, about the same as someone placing, like, 10th with 10 kills, you know? Yeah, for sure. All right, I feel like we got a good, pretty good answer on that as well. I feel like all of us universally agree that while placement is very valuable as itself, uh, you should not be dissuaded from having that pop off kill game um, yeah. and not finishing top five. Um, I popcorn. I think you were the third addition to a last second thing, right? I don't did even you? remember what I said, man. Oh no! Or was it Lily? Lily, did you try to add one more thing, and I told you to relax and let's get to Wheezy first? Yeah, no, I, I was just gonna <laughs> talk about the points. That the okay. Um, now, does anyone have a last second, last second thing? <laughs> Before uh, like the the previous three, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I feel like all three of those were great, or both of those were a a really good talking points that needed to be kind of like fleshed out, you know. So I feel like that was closer. Um, that was really valuable to end on. Uh, does anyone have any just uh, final words before we go? Then. I guess maybe make it rotate between like solos, duos, and squads in certain weeks. Oof. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, so that way it encourages. It's not just relying on one mode. Yeah, let's just mention that real quick. When we were talking about all of the changes, the gas, the everything, were were you guys in your head mentally thinking about solos, duos, or squads? Yes, yes. all three. Yeah. Okay, all three. Okay, so I didn't know if your answer would be just solos or just squads or okay, but if all three is the answer, that's that's the answer. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we've only ran solo events or solo ranked, but like, I feel like the format would fit if you just like change the scoring system for duos or squads, you know? Yeah, and there that opens more of a conversation. I don't know if we necessarily need to hit that one during this of like. Is it only a personal performance, but you can just duo with whoever you want, or is it your points as a team? Um, but yeah, we don't have to go into a full fledged um, discussion <laughs> on that. I'm gonna um, regardless. <laughs> kill uh, point should be yours, and placement point should be your teams. But how that seems convoluted in a rank system or a, or a ladder or a leaderboard, right? Yeah, you can do. I mean, and then you would be incentivized our... to take ki kills from your teammate to benefit yourself. No, that exactly right. that's fun no that's no, fun. fun it is with like my friend groups so i don't know if it would be with other friend groups i love trolling people and taking other people kills get stuff. so mad yeah people, <laughs> people get so pissed about that randomly um any other words i think that was just lily's last word uh wheezy you have anything to say uh I'm honestly not much i've said what i said um yeah, I would, I'll do my final words. I think it would, once again, be super valuable. I might be in the minority to have the opinion that I've, shush, that um, it would bring more people to the game than keep people that we don't have. Is that how I want to say that? Nah, not really, but I'm just going to say it like that anyways. I understand um, what you mean. Yeah, I think it would the biggest benefit would be bringing more people who would never try just the ultra casual experience, but that would come craving that competitive experience, which is what almost every other multiplayer online, especially shooters has. Um, like we kind of heard from that statistic at the beginning. Um, other than that, I believe that with good attention that the devs could absolutely make it happen. So I don't want to act like this is a fairy tale because I feel like if it's something that they saw was valuable, they could actually make it happen and it actually wouldn't be too difficult in the end of the day, I feel. Um, yeah, that's what I have to say. Last word, popcorn. Uh, no, I'm, I'm all good. All right. Well, thank you guys bad. so much for watching. It was just the person in my dungeon. Um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching episode seven of the Sarcast and Lily. Thank you so much for um, coming for this discussion. I asked you to come here because you are a brain. I know you love thinking about a lot of these uh, competitive things or point systems or leaderboards or um, competitive fairness and things like that. So thank you for being a part of this. No problem. 
And uh, we will see you guys uh, next time. Peace out. Yep. Bye-bye.